So the first service to discuss is Amazon EC2, Elastic Compute Cloud. Remember the abbreviation, as it might be one of the exam questions. EC2 instances are equivalent to your virtual machines and servers that you were used to run on-premises. Through a simple wizard, you can easily create and boot your EC2 instance in a matter of minutes. We will demonstrate that in a later demo. With full control over your EC2, from the AWS Management Console, you choose when to boot and when to power off your instance, and only pay for the time when your instance was running. So, what does it need us to specify in order to launch and create an EC2 instance? Well, the first parameter to choose is your AMI, or what is known as the Amazon Machine Image. The AMI specifies what kind of operating system platform and its version that would run on your EC2 instance, for example, choosing for your server to be a Windows server or to run with one of the Linux distributions. Next, you have to choose the right type and size of your EC2 instance. AWS offers hundreds of hardware combinations with different specs to match your workload requirements. You can check it out yourself on the AWS EC2 official public page for this service. The link for this URL would be in the video description below. There are other extra parameters you might need to specify as well, such as the network and security parameters, which would be explained later in the course in later sections. As we just discussed, there are different EC2 instance types to choose from. Your choice should be based on the type of workload that would be running on the EC2 instance. You could expect to be asked about this section in the exam, in the form of scenario-based questions. Expect one or two questions on your exam about this topic. So, let's understand the differences between these five different EC2 instance types. Any EC2 instance would have a set of hardware specifications associated with it, such as the number of virtual CPUs, gigas of RAM, and terabytes of storage. The first family is known as the general purpose type. You choose this type when there are no special requirements about the instance hardware specifications. This type offers a balanced hardware configuration, making it suitable for many general purpose workloads. I think you might have guessed that the remaining types do have something special about them. You are 100% correct. The next type is known as the Compute Optimized type. What do you think is the special resource for this family? You are right. Processors. This type offers high performance processors and a high CPU to memory ratio, making it ideal for compute intensive applications and batch processing workloads. The next type is the memory-optimized family. This type offers a high RAM to CPU ratio and offers fast performance for memory-intensive workloads, such as in-memory high-performance databases like SAP HANA and in-memory caches. The fourth type is known as the accelerated computing family. This type of instance gives you access to hardware accelerators or GPUs, graphical processor units, to allow for expedited data processing. This could be beneficial in workloads like graphics processing, gaming servers, and streaming applications. The last type to discuss is the storage-optimized family. This type of instance guarantees low latency and a high number of input-output operations per second, which is a typical requirement for large and distributed file systems and data warehouses.